Happy New Year from all of us here at Gadget Nation and also Astro Owani. Hope it's been a great one for you. Now, let's jump straight to it. Today's episode of Gadget Nation, music, galaxy, and perhaps some games. Those are the key words to remember. Let us start the first show of 2012. I'm sure that if you bought one iOS device, you probably have a few. Perhaps an iPhone and iPad, perhaps iPad and an iPod. I don't know, whatever it may be. How about this? A device that allows you to charge two of your iOS devices at the same time, but will also act as your radio alarm clock in the morning and allow you to play music from either of the devices which are currently plugged in. Sounds pretty nifty, I think so. That's why we just had to show you this. Check, 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 check it out. I got two devices connected to another device right here. It's a Philips DC390. Now, why am I showing this? Well, let me just clarify one thing. I think that music is very, very important in our lives. I think it can wake someone up. I think it can perk someone up. I can think it can really set the mood for certain situations. I'm a big fan of music is what I'm trying to say to you. And this is a device that can really help you to Get to grips with your music collection from the moment you wake up to when you're relaxing at home. That's the device here. So as you can see, there are two devices connected to it. Now this is predominantly for uh, Apple devices. You can also plug in via link cable MP3 devices as well, but let's not get into that. Let's focus on having these two here. Now this isn't cello taped in or something. They are actually both connected at the same time. There are two docks, dock one and dock two. Now, I should stress that if you are using the iPhone 5, which has the new connector port at the bottom, well, you might struggle to fit this in unless you have the adapter. On the front, dock number one. This is only for the iPhone or iPod because it's in a little chassis sort of thing there. Behind it, it's more elevated. You can fit an iPad. That's pretty, pretty nifty. Now, as for the actual device, I'm really liking one key thing about this this brushed aluminium design. It looks very sleek, very ready to go, and it feels very nice to touch. Bit of a fingerprint magnet, but we'll never mind that because you probably won't be touching it that much when you have something like a remote. Now, as for everything else, let's get into it. Let's just talk a little bit about sound, first of all. Now, obviously, it's very hard for me to convey what the quality is like across the TV screen because it's all speaker dependent and how our cameras are, etc. But I will say this much. Companies like Bose have shown that we can have very small speakers and still have very rich sound, and it's certainly no exception to this Philips device right here. So I'm just gonna try to test this out. I know it's not gonna come across very well, but you just have to bear with me. If we press play on one of the devices here, instead of jazz, very rich bass, very rich sound, and we're not in a very big room, but it comes across nice and clear. So I'm just gonna press pause right there. So I'm very, very impressed with that. Now, it seems to play most genres of music very well, except for heavy metal, in which case things start to sound a little bit distorted and a little bit drowned out effectively. Now, if you're gonna use this to wake up in the morning, well, let's just say you're probably not gonna wake up to heavy metal, but then again, that's just my own personal preference. So for most sounds, it's certainly very clear and very, very nice. Now, the reason that I was talking about waking up to it is because this is absolutely perfect for when you wake up in the morning. This will not only play your music, but it'll also charge two devices. So if you're dependent on a tablet, like the iPad here, you can charge that, you can also charge your iPhone or iPod as you listen to your music. Very nifty. Now, one thing that I think is really cool is it will synergize whatever time, etc., is there with the nice, big, clear screen in front there. So the time there is 5 p.m. as it is right there. So it's having little touches like that which make it really, really nifty. Now, on the back, they have the MP3 link. It's really simple, it's just the speaker to there. You plug in your MP3 device, very fancy sounding name, but it's not. So if you're not using an iOS device, have no worries, you can plug it straight out the back. And of course, it also has a tuner, very nifty.
Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about the buttons and so forth. Very nice, they really fit the whole design of the entire device. So I'm very, very impressed with that. And it's nice and solid to touch. Now I don't want to start pressing stuff in case the music starts playing, but you get my general drift. So we've got obviously the sleep button here with the date and time. Uh, we've got the power on off source. And this is important because you want to choose where your music is coming from. Tuner, MP3 link, dock one or dock two. And of course we've got controls to the actual device once you set whatever dock you want it right there. So very, very nifty and two separate alarms as well. And something there which you know, goes back to the alarm system. And once again, really a great device for waking up to early in the morning. Now, let's talk a little bit about the remote. It is very small, it is very sleek, it is very, very easy to use. I enjoy it, I have to say. Um, just don't try to lose it because, well, you won't try to, but just don't lose it because there are some functions here which are not able to do on the actual device itself. So that's kind of a bummer. I kind of like having the option of having everything set on the device, the option of using it on the remote. But it certainly fits the device in terms of its sleekness and, you know, very slim design as well, as you can see right there. So obviously I'm a big fan of that. Now, one thing I haven't touched on is, let me just take these two things off actually. I want to show it would be the dock as well. It's nice and flexible, lots of room there. So supposing you have a device which has a casing, quite a few of us will be using that sort of thing. <clears throat> it will be able to hopefully accommodate it accordingly because there's still room to play around with. I'm sure you use devices where you have to take the casing off in order to fit it in. So obviously in that aspect, they certainly thought of a lot of things. And as I put it in, it feels nice, steady, and sturdy, so obviously that is another major, major. So what do I think about this little bad boy in closing? Yeah, it's pretty nifty, but if you're the type to frequently update your Apple devices, it's of course a 30 pin connector versus lightning. Now obviously you can get the uh, little adapter, that is an option. Or perhaps it's best to wait for Philips to come out with a more updated version of this to accommodate lightning. But overall, if you're gonna go to sleep and you've got a lot of cables by your bedside like I do, this could be very useful. For example, you can put all your devices there and just have one cable, which of course is gonna go into the wall socket to charge both of the devices. Just make sure you have a bedside table which is big enough to accommodate this and it's not too cluttered with books, etc. All in all, a very viable idea, very nifty and very cool. Good job, Phillips.